Hi guys, so I'm here with another Try the World box. I'm super excited because it's a big one and I wasn't expecting it. Usually I, I'm notified in advance that I'll be getting a box, but I wasn't, but that's okay. Unless I just missed the email, that's a possibility too. But anyway, so we're gonna open up this box. I don't know what country it is or anything. Um, I can't really smell anything outside of the box but I see like little thingies coming out of the box. So let's go ahead and open it and see what it is. All right, let's see. Can't tell by looking at it. It is Portugal. This is the culture guide in here. They always have a culture guide and they kind of tell you everything. Oh, I see some weird stuff in here. This might be a box that is not made for me, <laughs> but all right. So here is the box right here. I'm gonna pull out the cutest little thing in here first. Uh, this is sea salt and lemon. Oh, very cool. I don't, hands on earth. I thought it was like a, a scrub, but I don't think I've ever gotten anything from Try the World. Try the World, why would you try it on your body? It would be food. Anyway, I haven't gotten anything that you're supposed to use on your body, your skin, whatever. It's everything that you consume. So I am gonna need to read the culture guide on this because I don't know what it's for exactly. This one says, sea salt and lemon hand by Hands on Earth. Committed to sustainability and healthful living, Hands on Earth specializes in promoting organic herbs and seasonings. This finishing salt is made free of pesticides and chemicals add, and lemon adds a zesty finish to any dish. So you use it to, it has like a, a, a name of a dish Portuguese bacha lau, I'm sorry, um, to garnish a dish and mix into butter. Hmm, interesting, I'm gonna taste this. Oh my God, it smells like fresh lemons. I did not expect that. Like, like, like you just zested a lemon. Mm hmm, that's good. Oh my gosh, yum. That is going to be good on so many things. I imagine it'll be perfect on fish, but I would put this on all kinds of meats. That was a good one. All right, next is Brioja Gourmet Codfish in Olive Oil. So it just comes in like a little, like a sardine type of can, but a little bit bigger maybe. Um, and I would eat this. I'm not afraid of stuff like this in a can. I'm not, I would definitely eat it. Let's just see what it says here, how they would normally put it. It says here, codfish called bacalao in its typical salted form is one of Portugal's most I iconic foods. Brioja Gourmet wraps their canned codfish in beautiful packaging reminiscent of hydraulic tiles, an art form in which pigments are pressed into cement. So cook into fried rice and you can blend it into pesto. So that sounds good actually, to put it with fried rice, like to make fried rice with it. Oh, yum. I think I would do that. I know my son would love it. At least one of them would. So I'm not gonna open that here because that's gonna be a lot of smell and possibly a big mess. So I'm not opening that one. So these are the crunchy apple rings from Portugal from Frutiformas. And these are just like naturally dehydrated um, dried apple rings, I guess. I'm gonna open it up from the bottom here. Oh, hello, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, they're like dried, like dried, like crispy chips, but not chips because they're probably sweet. But I personally, people, I'm sorry for you apple lovers. I don't like apples, but I am gonna try this for you. They look like, like leather, <laughs> like, like dried leather, and they don't smell like apples. They taste like concentrated apple. Actually, they're tangy. I wonder what color apples they are. I would imagine that they're not green apples because they look like they may have red skins. I could be completely wrong. I don't know what kind of apples they are. It's just not my thing. It's not bad. It's just not my thing. It doesn't say what kind of apple, it just says that it has apple in it. So it's just dried apples. They're not bad, they're just not the type of snacks that I prefer. I like salty, savory kind of things. Sweet things, I eat them, 
And you have seen me love some sweet things and try the world boxes, but I prefer the salty, salty side. That's two down. Okay, next is Olivas de Sol Gourmet. Um, I'm thinking it's olive oil. It looks like olive oil. It's very thick. It's probably olive oil. Yeah, it's a extra virgin olive oil. So it just says that you can mix it into dre dressing or substitute for butter. Really? You can substitute for butter? I don't know. I wouldn't. All right, next is jam. Pumpkin with hazelnuts. Interesting. It looks, it's very like loose. So I'm going to open this up and try this out. But let's see what it says here. Um, rare by Quinta de Jugares. Craft premium spreads using traditional por Portuguese recipes. Boy, that word Portuguese gets me every single time I try to say it. One of the most popular fruit preserves in the country. Pumpkin jam is delicious over toast and or alongside a selection of hard and pungent cheeses. So you can mix into yogurt or spread onto toast. Oh, it's called Rare by Ju who got who guys? I don't know. I'm gonna show you. Ooh, like that. Oh, it smells. It smells like pumpkin. Mm, for sure. And I'm guessing the little dark bits in there is the hazelnut. It's mine, people. I can stick my finger in it. Oh, that's interesting. It's kind of like, let me use another finger. I, I have to, I can't describe it. I taste the pumpkin for sure, but it tastes like it's got like cinnamon or something. It says ingredients, pumpkin, sugar, hazelnut, fruit, pectin, lemon juice, and cinnamon. That's what it is. Okay, so it does have cinnamon. I'm like, what is that? And it's got little chunks in there. I'll show you. That is tasty. I bet you that'd be really good on top of ice cream too. All right, next we have caramelized onions with balsamic reduction port wine. That sounds interesting. I'm gonna read because I don't know how you're supposed to use this. Okay, it says, um, Casa de Prisa, Prisia, Pris, Pris, Prisca? Casa de Prisca specializes in producing the same culinary specialties that the company's founder grew up on, um, grew up to know and love over four generations ago. This spread is made out of port, one of Portugal's most iconic spirits. Served with cheese or spread onto appetizers. I'm a little bit nervous about this one. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that smells really good. I love onions, so it smells like caramelized onions. Is that what this says? Yes, it says caramelized onions. It smells really delicious. Ah, okay, I'm gonna try it. It doesn't look appetizing, but I'm gonna try it. Oh, it's like, I don't know. I'll show you. It's tangy, sweet. It's actually really good. It's not something I'm used to. I wasn't expecting that taste from the smell. I was expecting something different, but it's good. It's kind of sweet. I don't know. It's good to me. All right, there's two more things in this box. This is Piri Piri. It is, uh, oh, it looks like a hot sauce because everything in here, oh, it says it in the back, hot sauce. Okay, it just, I don't know. It looks like there's a picture of a tongue here and uh, like these are like pepper bowls. <laughs> like these are like little devils all over the side. This is supposed to be like really hot sauce. I'm not gonna, oh. I'm not gonna personally try it just because I'm not a hot sauce thing, but my son loves hot sauce. I should just try it for the sake of trying it. I'm scared. I would think that, I guess you puncture a little top so that you can just ch -ch -ch. It smells good, actually. I have the little thing here. I'm gonna taste it from the top. Wish me luck, guys. Oh my God. It's tangy, it's sour, it burns the little tips. There's, you know, there's different parts of your tongue that get different types of heat. So depending on where you put it, it gives it whatever. Let me try it. And like it stung it for a second. It's spicy. 
and it's vinegary and salty and kind of sour. I think he's gonna really like it. Okay, the last thing in the box is some lemon cookies. I love lemon cookies. Hopefully I'll like these. So um, I, I don't think I really need to read. It just says you can, oh, it says you can dip it into coffee or crumble into pie crust. All right, I'm gonna eat it straight out of the box. Oh, they're like li very light and super crispy, I can feel. Mm -hmm. These taste like some cookies that I got from, was it Switzerland or Sweden or something like that? Really good. They're lemony, but they're almost like ginger snaps. Really good cookies. All right, so let me give you the rundown of the box. We have the olive oil, the sea salt with lemon. This is the pumpkin and hazelnut jam, the codfish in olive oil, the hot sauce, the caramelized onions with port wine and uh, balsamic vinegar, and the cookies. Did I say the hot sauce? The cookies and the apples, sorry. The apples are here down here and the cookies. So that is a good box. I love Try the World because I get to try things that I would have never otherwise have probably tried unless I went to one of those restaurants or something like that. So any of these particular snacks in this video or in other videos, you can always check out tritheworld.com slash eShop. And um, they have certain items um, that you can purchase from different boxes. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. Yeah. Let me show you the culture guide, what comes in the culture guide. I think I kind of miss out on this every month. Um, but let me go ahead and give you the rundown. So this is the guide and when you open it, it's like an accordion kind of a thing. So we're just going to go ahead and go through this way. So this one I showed you, it's the map of the country. And then it tells you about the curator of the box and these are the different, different ingredients. Um, so they tell you how to use them, what they were used for, and the companies that produce them. Um, in the back side, there's a 20% off coupon here. And then it gives you different recipes and things like that on how to use this stuff inside your box. So there's a couple of different recipes in here. Um, oh, this one is codfish toasts. Interesting. So in this one, it says that you can use, I think it's three, four, let me see, it says drizzle olive oil over eight slices of baguette, then toast it in the oven. Then you're gonna put some codfish, the sprinkle of sea salt, chopped parsley and piri piri sauce. So super interesting. Yes, yes. All right, so that is the completed Portugal box done. Looked at everything, tasted what I could taste, and um, I was not disappointed, stuff like that. So. I really like when they have different ingredients that you can cook with, um, and you know, like the sea salt and lemon, that's gonna last forever. The jam, I'm not sure how long that's gonna last because in this household, somebody might just go in with a spoonful and eat it. <laughs> but, um, so it's not just like a one-time thing, which I really like, um, that you're getting a treat that's gonna last for you and for others in the household, not just, you know, a quick treat. Okay. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you again in another video. Bye.